Hey all, welcome back. Today I'm going to do some uh, 223 load tests. Uh, these are the Spear TNT 55 grain uh, hollow points. Powder choice is CFE 223 and XBR 8208. Uh, starting charge with the CFE is 264, 267, and 27. On the XBR is 254. 25.7 and 26.0. Uh, these are seated at, uh, let's see here, 2.235. And uh, I do have this, um, the Ojive um, set, and I have the wrong bushing. I don't remember exactly what it was uh, in the case to Ojive, but um, yeah. So, I'm using my um, Palmetto State Armory. Uh, this is the uh, PSA lo lower. Um, it's Sanders Armory uh, upper receiver or upper, and it's the one and eight. Um, testing out a new bag, new range bag for me, and this is a Coltac bag. This is a really really cool bag. It's really lightweight, and this the strap here you can. Tighten it, tighten it up so it gives it more more tension here. So when you put it up on the um, the butt stock, it kind of kind of sorry you can't see it here. Let's turn it turn this down. And uh, yeah, so when you when you tighten it up, it gives it more tension so it doesn't um, so you can raise basically raise and lower the, uh, the butt stock. So uh, I'll leave a um, link in the uh, in the comment section on this bag here and this they have some really cool bags um hopefully uh you know soon next year i can pick up a couple of couple of them they have they have one that has it's it's for the for the front here and it has a, a carry handle so you can wrap strap it around your gun pick it up carry it throw it over a uh, uh barricade or whatever you want um and it's if if these are this light I'd like to see how light those, uh, I mean, they're bigger bags, you know, but, um, yeah, so that's that, and we'll test this out. Currently, it's raining, so I'm not going to set up the, um, uh, the chronograph, because it's raining, and I doubt I'll be able to pick up any, re any readings on that, so, so that's that. Um, this, uh, I did put my Grendel, my 6.5 Grendel Ruger, in this the uh, Magpul Hunter stock and I may may shoot off a couple of rounds I have to um, single feed because I still don't have a, uh, a right mag I mean this this is the um, AI style mag it's it's a Magpul mag but it's the AI style and the uh, obviously with the 6.5 Grendel they they, it, it works, but it they you know on one of the rounds will nose dive down in or whatever. So if I just um, single feed, there's no issues. I did did uh, shoot off a few rounds um, the other day or last week, and with this, and just as long as I single feed it, then uh, it's fine. But uh, so yeah, I'm at home, um, and so I'm going to be shooting around 65 yards. Uh, I do have. Um, I'm gonna save save one or maybe two two of these bullets, or maybe even load up load up a couple more. Um, I have five wa water jugs, uh, milk milk jugs, and I'm gonna try to capture one of the bullets. I I've, I've never done that, and uh, I'd like to see, of course, with these these hollow points, and I'd like to see how how they mushroom and expand and see uh, what kind of weight retention they hold. So. That's that. Uh, one more thing, yeah. So this is a Fab Defense uh, stock, um, bus stock. This, uh, this is a really cool uh, bus stock. You can uh, take and put a mag right, right inside. Uh, I've had this for a while. I don't think I've ever really uh, talked about it on um, on any of my videos, but uh, let me grab a different this is, mag. This is a 30 rounder, but you know, I, I wouldn't keep a 30 rounder in here. But it's really cool. You can. Uh, this is just a five rounds. A couple years ago, when I used this, uh, used this for hunting, 
I'd keep one five rounder here and then obviously another five rounder because you here in Maine we have to have five rounds for semi-autos but um that way there I always had another mag ready to go if I uh, hopefully wouldn't ever need more than five but um more than one uh so yeah there's a um pistol grip that they just came out with and I have it in my cart on um Optics Planet right now. Haven't clicked by now, but that grip, the angle is a little bit different, and uh, I'm really looking forward to uh, to getting that in and, and doing a review on that because it's it's a pretty cool uh, pretty cool pistol grip. Um, uh, boy um, uh, yeah, Codaboy 32 Codaboy, yeah. Uh, anyways. I saw on um, somebody somebody did a quick little video on it the other day, and uh, I you know watched that and I'm like that is a really cool pistol grip so I'm going to uh, I'm going to order that and do a quick review on it uh, as soon as I get it in obviously so uh, it's raining and so I'm going to actually put a um, uh, umbrella over over me so I don't get soaked. All right, let's uh, let's step outside and uh, let's do some shooting. All right, so this is this is my setup. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna move that umbrella and uh, get it so it's not pour, pouring down rain on me. And uh, here's the, um, the milk jugs. And like I said, I'll uh, I'm gonna try to capture a bullet and whatnot. And uh, so I'm gonna set this uh, camera down here by the target. You know, don't need to sit there and watch me. I don't. I don't have two, two different cameras to uh, to set up. So, um, otherwise, I'd have one on me and one on the target. So, that's that. All right, hold on. All right, so this is going to be uh, cold bore shots, uh, or at least the first 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 round will be, and. Uh, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. So that's uh, I'm gonna start right off with a cold bore. Hopefully, uh, it's not not off too too far. And we'll go from there. I'm gonna leave you here and uh, all right, let's get to it. All right, so these first five, I, I should have loaded up some some ciders and uh, sighted it in before shooting shooting these, uh, these these loads to test. As obviously that was that was trying to get the scope zeroed down in. Uh, this is this these these were the CFEs. This was XBR. XBR by far was was a better shooter. Um, so that's not horrible, not fantastic, but you know it's raining. It uh, on the bipod, this, the rifle is moving around a little bit because of the uh, my my table there is wet and whatnot. But can't blame it all on all, all on the loads. Blame it on me. So I don't I don't think these are bad. That's that's a pretty tight group for. Uh, for 223 and in, in the uh, TNT bullets. All right, let's uh, go back to the bench, load up a couple, a uh, couple more, and um, shoot. Uh, try to capture these bullets. All right, so a quick look through the brass. Uh, I should have noted these are all Sig Sauer brass, um, CCI 400 primers. They these brass was 
This would be would have been is the third firing. Um, I don't see any issues with the primers. I don't think they were. Uh, I don't think any of these were hot rotted. Uh, measure the groups. And uh, obviously I was having issues with my calipers trying to, <laughs> I still had it set for when I had the yeah, comparator on there. But uh, yeah, 962, just under an inch for the 26.0 uh, on the XBR powder. Uh, 1.08 on 25.7 XBR. And XBR 1.21. Uh, 25.4 CFE 223 1.31 27.27 uh, 20, uh, 1.38 and this one was uh, you know that was trying to get my uh, my scope zeroed in uh, like I said I should have should have loaded up loaded up five to make sure that I was uh, on uh, for the ciders. I should have loaded up five for ciders, but whatever. I uh, got some pretty good results. Definitely definitely like the XBR powder with, uh, with these Spear TNT bullets. All right, I'm going to uh, get get a tripod set up out, uh, out there by the milk jugs, and we'll try to capture a bullet. All right, hold on. So, yeah, I'm like, uh, well, I'm about 15 yards from uh, where I'm shooting so hopefully I don't uh, totally drench my phone all right uh, hold on wow I uh, honestly expected it to go through more than two. And all I am seeing is fragments. Oh, might have captured it. Yeah, it's uh, right here in this, the third jug, I think. So this is uh, what's left of the bullet. There, there's the, there's not much left. The case and uh, a little bit of lead. Let's. Let's try try one more. That's kind of neat. Into the third jug, and it stopped. Right there. See that? That's kind of crazy. Split the table in half. And there's a... This is a very small piece. I'm gonna go get a knife and uh, fish this out, but looks like for lead, this is this is all that's left, or all that mushroomed. Neat. Hold on. All right, to weigh this. Two point 
21.3 grains out of a 55 grain TNT bullet. Not sure I would, uh, this would be a good choice for, for deer hunting. It would certainly, uh, certainly put, uh, put the smack down on, say, a coyote or a rabbit or fox. All right, this is, uh, minus, <clears throat> shit, excuse me. This is the, um, the first rounds and just the lead. I didn't, uh, I didn't pick through all the, the casing, but, uh, this is 20.5. That's kind of interesting. A lot more. I wonder where all that lead went the second round. That's only 12.8. Hmm. All right. Hold on. All right. That was fun. Uh, Thanks for thanks for watching. Thanks for uh, for all my new subscribers and my uh, current subscribers. And uh, I'm gonna do some more testing with uh, with a 6.5 Grendel and uh, the SST bullets and maybe even the ballistic tips to see uh, what kind of expansion those do in the water. But all right, that's uh, that's it for now. Uh, please like, comment, subscribe. If you're not a current subscriber, and thanks to the new subscribers and, and my current subscribers, I appreciate it, and and we will catch you very soon. Thanks. Bye.